Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, my child, as you arise today, remind yourself that I am your defender. I am your vindicator. I am your healer, your way maker, and I am Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides, and I shall provide for you, my child. Yes, I will provide not only in the capacity of your food, cars, shelter, rent, mortgage, money and bills. I will provide for your most profound physical needs that you can face, my child, to complete your purpose upon this earth. Yes, I see the stress that hits you when you are looking to how things are going to be settled or where will your help come from. When you look to me, your help comes from me. When times seem tough and as you remain faithful, keeping your eyes upon me and not leaning on your own strength, I will even shift the atmosphere for the increase that is needed in your life. As you long to keep your eyes upon me, I will provide for you, my child. My abundance is like an ocean so vast you can't exhaust it and there is no shortage and there is always more than enough good things come to those who believe in me my child but better things come to those who wait upon me and better things still come to those that will never give up Yes, I will supply for every need of yours according to my riches in glory. But remember, without faith, it is impossible to please me. For whoever would draw near to me must believe that I exist and not only exist, but that I will provide for you. Remember, I am a rewarder for those who seek me with a genuine heart, my child. Learn to stand upon my promises, upon my word during your everyday trials. Don't rationalize my word with human understanding like many apologists do today, trying to explain and justify why I don't provide any more or just allow bad things to happen. No, for I am am a covenant keeping God, always meeting my covenant promise with my covenant partners. For those who desire them and yield themselves fully to me to bring my promises to pass. Yes, for all my promises in me are yes and amen, my child, and you therefore can trust me. I am the Lord your God who brought up the Israelites out of the land of Egypt and as I provided for them throughout their entire journey I will also provide for you my child yes just as I provided for them I will open your mouth wide and I will fill it also with good things I will be like a sun and a shield to you and bestow favor and honor upon you my child in every season no good thing do I withhold from those who walk uprightly before me. For when you seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, all things shall be added unto you. Remember, I will never let the righteous go hungry, but will frustrate the craving of the wicked. For it is my blessings that makes a man rich, and I will give you no sorrows. That's right, because as you hold your peace, There you should also have joy and content. If my father did not spare my own life, but gave it up for you, how will I not also graciously give all things to those who ask in my name? For I am able to do immeasurably more than all you could ask or imagine according to my power that is still work within you. Yes, the same power that raised me from the dead through the power of my Holy Spirit is at work within you, my child. Yes, I am your rock your fortress and your deliverer in whom you can take refuge. I am your shield and the horn of your salvation and your very stronghold. Just remember one thing, 
that I am with you and I will make everything work out right at the right place at the right time. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body or what you will put on. For is it not life more than food and the body more than clothing? For when you look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more valuable than they? Yes, you are, my child. Remember the plans I have for you, my child. They are good and for a good welfare and not for evil, to always give you a future and a hope. Even if the young lions suffer want and hunger, all those that seek me will lack no good thing, my child. Remember also that you did not choose me, my child, but I choose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, that the fruit should abide. So whatever you ask in my name shall be given to you. When you cast all your cares on me, my child, you'll be amazed at the wondrous ways I will provide for you, for your every need. So when doubt and dismay enfold you and the hope you re for relief becomes dim in your life, remember to cast all your cares upon me. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is always made perfect in your weakness, my child. Therefore, boast only in me always, so that the power of my spirit and of the spirit of grace rest upon you. I will give you strength for every battle, wisdom for every decision, and peace that surpasses all understanding to get you through every situation. So be patient and wait for the desires of your heart, my child. Don't chase or run after them, for I know what you need and I am faithful to provide for you. So whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith to believe all things are possible. Remember, I will satisfy the thirsty and fill the hungry with good things. Be at rest and be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says according to Isaiah 54 verse 4, Fear not, you will no longer live in shame. Don't be afraid, there is no more disgrace for you. You will no longer remember the shame of your youth and the sorrows of widowhood. Hallelujah. See, Satan is named the accuser according to Revelation 12.10. So much of what the enemy tries to do is keep us hung up on past mistakes, flaws, or even setbacks. He wants to keep us set back from coming to where God wants us to do. See, when you have a dream and you find yourself returning back to your family home, returning back to old past friends, returning back to being in an old school or finding yourself doing an exam and you never see yourself passing, those are signs to know that a spirit of setback is coming against you. And that is what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to be set back. See, if the enemy can, he will keep us in shame. Then he can keep us focused on ourselves instead of what Jesus did for us on the cross and finding out who we are in him. If Satan can get us caught up in our shameful ways, then he will fulfill his ultimate plan, which is to keep us as feeling as far away from the Lord's presence as possible. See, the Bible tells us that it is for freedom that Christ set us free, according to Galatians 5 verse 1. So if you have made Jesus your Lord and Savior, then no matter what you have done, in the past and to the presence, when you repent, you are free from the condemnation and the guilt that comes with sin. Not because that we are righteous, but because Jesus is righteous. See, when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, the debt was paid in full. Therefore, the enemy has no right 
to accuse us because Jesus Christ has fully settled forever every sin that God could have held against us. And it is paid in full, people of God, even of all things of your past. So we are not only forgiven, we are declared righteous. The Bible even tells us in Isaiah that God has dressed us with the clothing of salvation and draped us in a robe of righteousness, according to Isaiah 61, verse 10. So just think of that. The God of the universe looks at us and because of what Jesus did and paid for our sins, when we plead the blood of Jesus that shed blood, he has put a robe of righteousness on us. What what an awesome thing. Hallelujah. So this doesn't mean that we can just go and willfully sin the way we want because then we're going to open up legal rights, legal doors of authority for Satan to come and to destroy us. However, when we run to God, it is his love and kindness that draws us to repentance, according to Romans 2.4. So when we find out who we are in him and draw near to him, the Bible says, according to James 4.7, submit to God, resist that devil, and he will flee from us. Hallelujah. So whatever's going on, when you know that who you are in Christ, you don't have to live in the past. So instead of focusing on what you have done or how you have messed up again, remind yourself and the enemy that those things don't define you because of what Jesus did on the cross. You are right standing with God when you confess your sins because he looks at you and sees you spotless. Not because of anything, that we have done or didn't do, but because of Jesus who paid a high price for you and me. So the next time you find yourself feeling guilty or shameful about something that happened in the past, then I encourage you to start to praise Jesus for what he did so that we could be free from condemnation and guilt. It's time to get our eyes, people, off ourselves, off our weaknesses and put on to Jesus and run to Jesus for it is there that we will find true freedom from sin and the guilt and shame that comes from it. So Heavenly Father, I thank you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we begin our prayer, we praise you for what you have done by sending your son to die for us. For you say that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. This world is hard. We understand that it threatens to crush us in many ways. Physically, we cannot always outrun the ailments of our bodies. Sickness and injury take hold of us and we are not always healed to the original state of our health. Lord, because we cry out to you that you, by your stripes, we are healed. Mentally, we are bombarded and pulled at by unfiltered thoughts, threatening to run away with our self-esteem on a daily basis. Spiritually, you have promised us a battle in this life. According to John 10.10, reminds us that the thief only comes to kill, steal and destroy. But Lord, you came to give life and life in a full. So bring our hearts to focus on the truth at the start of each day, expecting a battle. But we also expect your deliverance. Father, in overwhelming moments help us to recall the truth. Lord, according to your word, you are our hiding place and you will protect us from trouble and surround us with songs of deliverance. Remind us of the great, the great gift of faith that have gone before us and those that have gone before us in bravery with courageous faith in your protective hand of deliverance. Father, we are grateful that you hear us and care for us. Beyond our understanding, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from their troubles. We prayerfully proclaim deliverance in our lives this very day. We believe it today. Deliver us, Father, from everyday attacks of our conscious health, relationships and beyond. For what 
can see the coming and expect never expect it whatever it is that we don't know lord deliver us this day in your powerful name in the name of jesus we pray and believe amen this is pastor robert clancy from Meripath ministries in perth western australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. And you can also join us every Friday for our Friday corporate fasting. So please do that. And also we've got the up and coming three day fasting that will happen in July, which I will update very shortly. So get ready for that also from my family to yours. God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.